This is just another day at the beach. Matapang Beach. Sounds like it's in the Philippines, I know. But unfortunately, no. This is in Guam, a tiny island within the vastness of the Pacific Ocean. It's quite remote and many people often miss out on this destination. What's Guam got to offer that many people are missing out on? Let's find out. Changing gears, this trip to Guam would actually be a many family vacation. This was yet another red eye trip via Cebu Pacific and costing us only about $60 each. A real steal! Unfortunately, Cebu Pacific discontinued this route at the end of 2019. Picking up at the airport was my Tita M, my Tita Butch, and my sister Marie. Guam has officially been a territory of the United States since 1898. The roads are wide and it honestly feels like a scene straight out of a movie as if we were driving along the California coast. This was shot along the touristic Tumon Bay. We dropped off the folks and my sister Marie and nephew Kyle knew me well enough to take me straight to the beach. Picking up some pizza and beer and this was what I was going to do for the rest of the day. We pretty much stayed until sunset. I recommend you check into one of the many beachfront hotels here along Tumon Bay. For us, we were headed back to my Tito and Tita's house at Dededo to call it a day. Taking a breather from the beach today, today is about exploring what makes Guam authentically American. Shopping and fast food. This was taken before Panda Express opened in Manila, so I was in dire need of getting my orange chicken fix. I wasn't quite full, so I went for some authentic Philly cheesesteaks after. As authentic as I could get them on this side of the world, anyway. These are things you just can't get back home. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. It's pretty hard to keep away from the beach when you're this close. After dinner with family, I was insisting on drinks. So Kyle and Ate Marie took me to a lovely beachfront bar aptly called the Beach Bar and Grill. Taking in the salty fresh air amidst the hustle and bustle of the city makes me wish we could have Manila Bay as pollution free as this. Someday I guess. So, what do you think of Guam so far? I think their beaches can match some of our best beaches in the Philippines, with the comforts and convenience of just about any other American city. I think that's an awesome hybrid of features. What can I say? I'm really feeling this Guam vibe. You know I can't resist another day at the beach. This time we went to Gun Beach. Although Guam is small, the supermarkets do carry a fine selection of craft beer from Hawaii. What a treat for me to get to try these. Since it was the anniversary of my parents, and the reason why we're actually in Guam, we brought them to the Two Lovers Point Lookout Point. Happy anniversary mom and pops! Here we are driving through Pali San Vitoris Road on Tumon. This would be the center of Guam's tourist attractions with duty-free shopping, luxury brands, and hotels lining this whole stretch. Of course I didn't go shopping, just random photo ops, which thankfully the on and off rain let us do. All this picture taking was getting me hungry. So we stopped at Kylie's Smoke and Grill for ribs and steak. Thanks for dinner, Kyle! That was a heavy dinner, so we had energy to burn. So we stopped by Kento's at the Hyatt Regency Hotel. We met up with my cousin Ken and nephew BJ. It was Latin night, so they were playing some Selena, Shakira, and Despacito. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I have to tune this out on the video for copyright concerns. 
But yes, there is definitely a night scene at Guam for those looking to party. This was going to be the last day before we left, so today will definitely be about catching up with the rest of the family. This is probably going to be unique to my trip versus other travelers. But anyway, the point is Guam is a very family-friendly destination. And before more reunions, let's go back to Guam Premium Outlets for some last-minute bargain shopping. These are my Ate Hazel, Ate Pinky, and the rest of the Guam Fam Bam. So is Guam going to be worth your while? Well yes, a resounding yes. It's great for a beach getaway, and although there are many tropical beaches on this side of the world, Guam offers a unique experience with its first world conveniences. It's a bit remote, so it's best for people coming from the eastern part of Asia. The closest alternatives you'd have is Hawaii or Australia. But those destinations are twice as far, when Guam is a short 3-hour plane ride from Manila. Guam is a picture-perfect destination, made even better with the warmth of its people. Until next time, Guam!